I'm going to come to you with, uh, like, breaking in the middle of the project. I'm building this table base for a customer, and uh, they want just a pretty common scroll for the leg. I got the top already welded up. It's a two-by-two two, uh, top base, and the legs come off. Actually, I have a leg. Where the hell is it? Now, hold on. Get it out of the way. I think that's the sun it sucks, but that's where I am right now. So the, I forged up one of the legs, and I, I like it. It's the right dimension. And it was, I, I, I'm pain in the ass with scrolls. It's freaking heat. You gotta have temperature control. If you're a little warmer here than over here, when you go put that scroll in, it's gonna be flat. But I finally got it where I wanted it to be. I posted something on Facebook and asked you to could make a jig or not. And uh, the consensus was make a jig. So that's what I did today uh, to uh, make up the other ones. And that's why I'm bringing you in because the last one I tried worked. So, so I made up a two part jig. This is the first part. You get that bottom scroll in, like that, all right? And then once I do all the bottoms, I made up this top part of the jig. Just move this out. So the pop top part of the jig goes up like that, all right? This thing will be over here somewhere in this range. All right, and I'll tack that down when I get done. and. Uh, I'm hoping that that's, that's the way uh, it'll bend. Now, I just did two of them because I haven't done anything like this before. The first one was bare because I didn't have a way to clamp. I didn't have a good set of vice grips to clamp that beginning one down. But these are the two that I've done so far with the jig. I can't see what you can see. And uh, by golly, uh, I will have to say that this one's got a little more tail than that one, but that's structurally not important. But everything else lines up pretty darn well, I think. At least well enough for me, anyway. So uh, I'm running out of propane. Let me switch the propane in the in the uh, forge, and we'll get another couple legs heated up, and I'll show you how these things bend. Uh, never used a jig like this, especially when this heavy as steel. And I'll tell you, it takes it takes a man and a boy to do it. But uh, I'll be back. Have enough propane to get these things where I want. Let me see. It. We'll try one of them. If it doesn't work, then we'll be in trouble. Take this one. Safe right. So again, like I said, a man and a boy, I think, would do this a lot easier than one old freaking man. But that clamp down, so not the drop, slide. If I let everyone do it, then I guess I'd be okay. Let's just try it again. Come on, one out of heat. Here we go, we're trying to keep it tight. Here your scrolling tongs can come in handy if you had a set this big, which I don't. I'm going to break the knees. This isn't what I did before. The problem is if I don't get this on the first heat, Come on, man. 
much. So we'll strap it. Again, a good set of scrolling forks. They're not stacked perfectly either, so very, very happy with that. Now, I'm gonna let, let Shannon recover from freaking heat exhaustion. Holy freak. And then we'll go ahead and get the other end, get that other part of the jig welded down, we'll heat it up and we'll come back and I'll show you the rest of the bend. It worked. A lot of work, but it worked. I think I was right on the edge of some heat exhaustion on that one. It's been so hot in here, but I'm really working hard today moving steel, heavy steel. It's actually cool outside because we had a good rain this morning. I bet you it's just like 78 or something outside, but it's like 101 or something over here in the forge where it was. And I mean, just look at my shirt. All right, that's just ridiculous. So anyway, that's just safety. Maybe I'll do that on every video, safety note. You need to know when to say when. And I was starting to feel like I was gonna throw up and everything was getting a little dizzy and stuff like that. So the hat went off, sorry about the hairdo, the hat went off and I chugged about, I don't know, maybe a half a liter of water, not about a liter of water, <clears throat> sitting in front of a fan. I'm going to go sit down a little bit longer and then we'll come back to this project. But again, can't get nothing done if you did. That's one thing to think about. Returning back to the land of the living, uh, reconfigured my jig. I hadn't expected to remove this particular part of it, but I had to because of the shrinkage inside here, now all the all the curves fit but uh, we're gonna go ahead and clamp this down on this jig so that we're lined up right with the table and then this piece here will be heated and we'll bring it right up and around and straight out so that's the plain stand let's get some pieces heated up oh by the way I forgot to mention if you rewind to one of my previous bends I had this piece straight I can't see what you can see yeah. um, and the only thing I did before I went to the jig is I put just a bit of a curve in there so that I'd have something to hook to and not have to be working straight over like this. So just, it didn't have to be close, it just had to be, well, it didn't have to be exact, it just had to be a little bit close. Heck, it was only about an inch and a half. Check out, just go back for a little second here and check it out. Just that little bit of curve in there helps you to, to clamp things on. So we'll come in here, we'll line it up with this jig, make sure we're on the bottom, clamp it in and bend that top. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle these. So, this first one might be a bit interesting. We'll get that into this spot, just like that. Line it up with the bottom, which I'm good with. That's most important. We'll lock this sucker in here. And now, I guess we'll just bend it like that.
it for hand porridge. The question is, in the end, it's the height that matters. And you see, we're not, we're not where we want to be. This little jig I do. Fix that first one. propane forge, got to fire up the coal forge and fix this one up. The thing is, the first prototype I made, the one that I forged entirely by hand, actually fits the template for height. So I could actually use that and not fix the other one, but I'm not going to. I'll keep this one as, I don't know, as something. I just need to make another jig. But uh, that's pretty cool that template's where it wants to be. We'll be back. I spent more time on that freaking one than I did on all three of them, all three of the other ones. But we got it tweaked. What a pain in the ass. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is the damn jigs work awesome when you know how to use them. The right amount of heat in the right spot. I could have actually done this all in one, one heat if I could have heated the entire thing up. See if I had a drop-in piece for this. But the jigs work. My heights are all the same. 
from point to point, which is what I was most important. Uh, I have some variation in the curves, but nothing crazy. Um, don't frig one up. Man, I just can't. I probably just spent an hour tweaking that stupid thing. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> Alrighty, there they are. Ready to rock and roll. I gotta cut them all to the right length. And uh, like I mentioned before, this is the. How much can you see of that? A little bit. This is the table top frame. And these will come out at a 45. Let me tip you up a little bit. Let's see. Top frame over there somewhere it looks good. Alright. And these will come out where I cut them at a 45 like that. This looks should look pretty darn sharp. So uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do with this video for you today. Uh, let me get the drawing and I'll just work in. There's not a whole lot of blacksmithing left in it. Um, we formed the table leg, right? And that's what we, we did today. The only other thing is to connect the four legs together, they want um, these semicircles or arcs. Um, so I'll heat and bend that. I may, I may videotape that. I don't think so. There's nothing crazy. I'll make a jig just like I did the other ones. But uh, I will come back because there's a part of this project that I think if I pull it off is going to be cool. So they want... The, the table legs, the, the bottom brace to be this, these two arcs. And then the idea was to, well, I'm going to weld. Everything get, gets welded on this project. Not old school, but just, just the way it is. Um, to, I want to weld these together so there will be a positive connection there. But they want to wrap something decorative around there. The tabletop that they're putting on this thing is, um, is I don't know, it's Mackenzie Childs or something like that. Ceramic. It's got like fishes, you know, like those Japanese uh, goldfish kind of... Uh, yeah, it, one of those kind of crazy looking things. And I'm thinking what I might do on the bottom here is wrap a sea serpent or something like that just to put Chandler's little flare on it. So that would be a cool project. So I'll probably come back and do a video on that. Um, I've never made a snake or anything like that. Um, but I have done a dragon's head. So we'll see. And, you know, that ought, that ought to be very interesting to try to tie all that back together. All right. But that's it for this video. I just thought I'd bring you along... Um, scrolls they're a pain in the neck for me I haven't worked it all out yet I haven't done a lot of them yet this is three-quarter square which is pretty big to do a scroll uh, I went with a jig and the jig definitely was the right thing to do I mean no doubt about it take the time especially if you have to make four that are the same and trust me I've been making some more tables now that I have the ability to do it I gotta fine-tune my process a little bit take the time to make the jig that really paid off but you also need to practice, you know, that first one, the first, you saw me, I struggled with them even with the jig. Um, and then the, uh, the scrolling fork or bending fork, I need and will build a big hefty one of those. You definitely need that. And then I think the thing I learned most, and if you go back and watch the videos as I'm pulling out the, uh, the steel on the ones that just uh, seem to fight me, you can see that the ones were that white heat wasn't even all the way across the bending area those are the ones that, that caused me grief the ones where I had good solid heat um, uh, seemed to go much better so all right, I just thought I'd pass that along to you and uh, give you something to watch tonight anyway uh, I'm tired I'm going home it's actually early four o'clock like three hours early um, but uh, uh, I get this table done so we'll see another video soon on that serpent I hope Ciao. Goodbye. I'm going to go wash my face. Mm -hmm. Bye.